Phillips from Auto Appraise up for sale 1969 Dodge Coronet Super B. WM23H code. That's a 383 car. 09057 on the mile, so 109,000. Factory four speed, numbers matching four speed car. That's D21 on the fender tag. I'll show you that shortly. Car's been upgraded to a 440. So it's set up with a period correct 440. Stock manifolds. You can see the engine's been completely rebuilt. You can see the D21 option on the fender tag, and you can see the N96 original Ram Charger setup still in place, and it is active. A62 gave us the um, rally instrument cluster with 150 mile an hour speedometer and the tack. Three speed wipers. Music Master Radio is in there, R11. Nothing else too exciting. Car was originally an F5 uh, green car, delivered March 11th. Engine uh, transmission and rear end have all been rebuilt. Got an upgraded uh, distributor setup. Firewall and inner fenders are in nice shape. No evidence of compression down at the lower rails. Seams all look nice all along the inner to the outer fender. Core support's in real nice shape. VIN stamp is in here and the core support. I don't have my flashlight and I know I'm showing you into daylight, but still photos available of that. Looks good. Manual steering and brakes aftermarket. Kregers up front with the... Uh, Fat steelies in the back, it's a great look. The wheel tubs have not been cut or modified. Body's got great magnetic adhesion. I'll get it out of my garage here after we go under it and take a better look outside the vehicle. I put the magnets on instead of using the paint meter because so many people ask um, you know, about the paint meter readings and don't always have a good understanding of what they mean. But as you can see, I just ran out of magnets. Uh, they're sticking just fine. There's some bubbling down low in between these two magnets where the factory overlap seam is where the rocker and the quarter meet. There's some bubbling there. That happens. Uh, that happens on occasion. Bottom of the uh, rockers are otherwise in pretty good shape. There's some bubbling on the other side too. A magnetic adhesion is uh, pretty similar uh, left to right. This car is for sale if you're interested, 800-301-3886 or 810-691-2664 if you want to text me. Some of the front end suspension components have been rebuilt. Nothing done uh, super recent, original drum brakes up front. You can see these rail extensions don't have any Obvious compression, no obvious damage to the bottom of the core support. And then back over here, same rules apply. Again, still photos available for you to get a better look. I don't want to waste too much time down here. Uh, the underbody of the car is very, very solid. I'll move back there and show you that that's primarily some cosmetic surface rust. I'm underneath passenger, behind the passenger front tire, and uh, you can see the uh, unitized rails look like they're in very nice shape. Floor pans are all very stout. They look nice with a coat of paint on them. Torque boxes look like they're in good shape. <clears throat> That's me dragging my fat butt back here further. Some surface rust along the pinch weld, but uh, this is also nice and solid. Performance mufflers routed really nice. 
H pipe. Other side of the floor looks virtually identical. There you have it. Back end of the car, gas tank's in good shape. Looks like it might have been changed at some point. Rails are in nice shape. A little tiny hook mark right here. Likely where the car was chained down, but I would have to say for something minimal, not for anything too major. Original inner quarter panel splash, original tabs are here. Folding tabs on the quarter panels, and you can see the original corrugation in the metal. Now that's, none of that's been touched. Wheel tubs are in nice shape still. Really, really solid car underneath. Eight and three quarter rear end. A little bit of seepage on the back side of the rear end, if you can see that from here. Shocks have been changed. Leafs have a good perch to them, and they have been changed as well. Still photos are available underneath the car. We'll get it outside and get a little better look at the driver's side. A little bit of filler, at least I can't get a magnet to stick. I can get it to stick, but it won't stay by itself. It uh, will slide off and hit the floor. A little bit of bubbling here in the corner of the door skin, but a magnet still sticks around it. Going down a little further, same thing at this rocker seam. You can see some bubbling there. That needs to be tended to. Those are probably the worst spots on the car. All right, we're going to do a cold start on the motor. 86 degrees. 86 is the pavement. All right, go ahead and uh, fire it up, please.
hit some traffic. I guess we're not going anywhere. Should pull in up here and we'll pull out of this parking lot. fun. Lockout lights not uh, coming on when the car is in reverse. Car fresh is working. The brake lights. Yeah, thanks. All right, we're back. We survived. Here's a better look at the outside of the car. Looks like one of our magnets was left on the car and it survived the ride. Car's got a nice driver quality reflection. A few nicks and chips and scratches. I've got those detailed in photos if you want to see more. Uh, thanks for looking. This car's for sale again. 810-691-2664. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. Have a great day.